people. Pimp that's, just started. That, the original liar, the original liar is the woman. And she continues to lie her way through life. And now, <laughs> I'm just saying, and now uh, the offspring of wretched club bitches um, oh! rule the street. The As offspring of the, wretched club The offspring of wretched club bitches are out there in large numbers. Brothers used to have to worry about the police and stuff like that. Now you have to worry about these misguided children that was raised by a woman. Only. Who, her backup comes from the court system, and the children are trained against the man. Are you yeah. saying, are you saying yes. that, wait, hold on. Are you saying that a woman cannot raise a, a balanced child on her own without the help of a man? What I'm saying is because... Diamonds are a girl's best friend. They don't care that the person who is giving them their power is destroying the community. They are still willing to go with that because they get the rewards. Absolutely. But what about what TD uh, DT said about balance? I think I th this is what I think. There can Man. never be balance unless the person who is in power, who, sh who should be in power, um, is in power. The people in power now are evil. And uh -huh. women are like, well, fuck it, they empowered, so we running with them. So you saying whoever got the power, they got the women. Right, so we uh -huh. don't have to worry about the women necessarily because they will follow whoever is in power. Dr. Mark does not agree with if you. If I got money, <laughs> if I got money at the club, I got power. I can fuck most of the bitches in the club, and I know motherfuckers don't like to hear that, but it's the truth. Whoever is in power, that's who the women will follow automatically. Good so we, our, our Good war is so not I can with, be a devil worshiper, but if our, I got power, it's our all. war is not with the women. It's uh, there are resources. Our Maybe war, you want some more Lucifer juice? Right. Mm -hmm. Our war is with the Lucifer people juice. in power. Absolutely. They'll follow behind once we get our power back. Interesting. You don't agree either, Brandy, do you? I see you looking. He's so. steaming. Yeah, you know, I just, I just think it's all ridiculous. Her talisman is I mean, glowing. You're upset that a woman can't raise a, a, a child properly by herself. Well, why don't you take yourself home and raise your child, too? Mm. Okay, his reason. There's a reason a lot of black men aren't in the I'm home. I'm sure there is. Did you want that answer? I'm sure there are. Did you I'm like sure that, you answer? that answer? In general, men should never get mad at women because I guarantee you, no matter how much they yap, if you have the money and power, them bitches will be right up under you. You don't even have wow. to. I don't give a fuck if a bitch hate me. If I got enough money so and saying, power, that bitch will smile with me and do what the yes. fuck I want her to do as long as she can get as as she some get money, money or whatever from me. So, you so it doesn't money, even matter. Money and power purchases the woman. Look at all of the single they moms. The uh, and they want to act like they're victims. They're not victims. They just fuck who they want to fuck instead of who they should fuck. All relationships are based on a, full, a level of dependency. Uh oh. The children, uh -oh. you need somebody to raise, you need your parents. Men, historically, you needed a woman there to take care of the home. Women needed the man to protect them. There was always a need there. In the 60s, we had this independent shit where I don't need no man. That and look shit what started happened. And look what happened. The shit just really unraveled. So we have to go back to that, that perspective and find out what went wrong. That independent thing destroyed the community. You should turn that into a DT, question. DT, let me do this. DT, turn that into a question. The, let well, me ask you this. Tariq, DT, the DT, hold on, hold yes. on. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You're the men. You're the men's advocate in the room, right? She went to school for this here, UCLA. That's right. Is there <laughs> some real, right? Some real grounds for men to have an argument, a grievance for how society is going in terms of, you know, we already know there's a a, a gender, a judicial gender bias in court. Or we should we just that. go home and take care of our damn kids? Should we just suck it up and just stop yeah. bitching? Yeah. Go ahead. Yes, there are grievances. <laughs> Brandy to be, said to yes. Be made. We should shut and up. <laughs> yes, there are laws that need to be changed, and yes, custody issues do need to have a complete overhaul. But mm -hmm. shy of all of that happening, you know, I agree. Prior to 1964, 64, black men were very relevant. They were very important in the household. Go ask your grandpas and your uncles and what have you. They were very relevant, and the politicians bought your vote. Ooh. Lyndon Johnson said, we're going to create this social program, so if you pop out more kids and there's no husband around, gotcha. you're going to get more money. That's Ooh. where it started. Let's so go, the po go. politicians bought you out. Mm -hmm. But prior to then, black men and black head of household 
households were very relevant and very there was no broken families back then so here's my point you know, so black male we have in, to figure and in I, a position and where he couldn't protect you you can get raped and he has to stand there and watch that on a subconscious level there's a certain level of disrespect there because he can't protect you but sisters still wrote it out in the 1960s when they gave sisters the option of hey we'll take care of you you don't need him no more a lot of sisters was like cool mm. so we got to be real about that we keep getting blamed for abandoning the family but a lot of women go into relationships saying well i'm gonna have a baby and i don't need no man so they're making a point and a decision to have kids by themselves even before a man gets to abandon them so we got to be very realistic but about Tariq, that. that's an interesting point you make because radical feminism has a concept called the disposable man mm. but can we really get mad when pimps and max have a concept called pimps up hose down isn't that not the same thing okay we uh, can't have double standards right all right here uh, let's let's uh, uh, i'm listen. talking to tari okay <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore Okay. You just ignore that. Okay. Just listen by Dr. Mark Goldston. Right. Here you go. Let me open this up. Get a couple, let me open this up. Get a couple of bars. Look at that. Tariq, please. But yeah, but, <laughs> but the concept of pimps, pimps up, hose down, that goes back to what Corey was saying. It goes back to power. There's always been men in power who had a whole bunch of women and the option to have a whole bunch of women and to do whatever you wanted to do with them women. That goes back to the ancient pharaohs of Egypt mm. and the kings of, of, of Europe. They would have a wife and eight or nine mistresses. So... The word Mac and pimp, that's relative to the situation because there's always been relationships like that, and that's just a power based relationship. Okay. Now you focus. Okay. Wow. And in the Sorry, push, back, push back if that's all wrong. Right. Let's go back to the 60s. Right mm -hmm. in the middle of the 1960s, that's when the black community gave up its economic base. Mm. And we integrated wow. money. And once we did that, you Done. notice the independent thing popped right on up. Because the thing is, we as black men, we became dependent on the system for employment. Work, jobs, homes. So black women were like, if I got to depend on, if you're dependent on him, and I got to depend on him, fuck you. I just go directly to him now. Mm. Whereas other groups and immigrant groups, when they come over, they don't try to get jobs. They come over and they build their communities. They get their businesses. Tariq, can it be said that the system allows has marginalized them. black men? Absolutely, and not black women. Absolutely. Absolutely, because they the That's system the economically the deprived the black community on purpose. Mm. I mean, you, when you look at Jim Crow, that was de purposeful economic mm. deprivation. No blacks here. You can't work here. These all-white unions, they went out of their way to economically deprive us. And then they came in as the rescuer saying, okay, black woman, since you don't have no money, we got you, but he can't come in the home. Mm. And if you remember, in the 1960s, when they would put black women in these housing projects, they would literally go in those projects looking under Checking. beds, looking in closets, looking for male shaving shoes, all that stuff. Literally making sure there was no man nowhere around. And before that, black women would be very selective about the men they procreated with. There have always been dusty-ass dudes in the black community. Mm -hmm. Women just wouldn't mm -hmm. fuck them. <laughs> After the <laughs> 1960s, yes. you didn't have to worry about the dude being dusty. If he had cute eyes and swag, you fuck him and have a baby with him and you'd still be great. You look like Elder Brown. And that's when everything went downhill. The leadership in this country <clears throat> has made women who have a history of five or more uncommitted dicks in their body think that they are respectable people. They don't even think they hoes. They think that they just good people who are walking around, but they spend their whole life until they get too old and don't nobody want them no more chasing imaginary shit because the leadership in this country told them that you are still a, 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 a what is it, a woman. <laughs> You're not a whore. You're not a whore, but in fact, you are a whore when you go around sleeping with uh, everybody that you are, uh, uh, you know, like, especially the cute girls. Mm -hmm. They are the real whore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got options up the ass, so they think that they, you know, I, it didn't work out with See, them. The Kardashians are not women who are standout, fucked up people. They just like almost all of the women I meet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, they're not, they're, it's just they got money. Is that so, why well, they're famous? Because they're, they, they got money and they got fame. But most of the girls who I know, they especially are famous the ones because I, these broads identify with them. The ones I met in Hollywood, that's, yeah, that's they how they like, But did they act like angels when they think you don't know their story? But everybody tell your story. That's another thing these women got to understand. These dudes are not loyal to you. They put you out there, everything you did, and you know you can't believe everything people say, mm -hmm. but. 
When enough people say, oh, that bitch, whoop de whoop de whoop motherfucker, we know you, bitch. Mm. You can't act like you not know <laughs> motherfucking jump around, bitch. Everybody knows you. <laughs> jump around. Stop the ghosting. I need you. Uh, how many... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. But see, those are the ones you see automatically. <laughs> like, you know they wretched. Yeah, you but you got the women who hide out and... Uh, oh, oh, the, the, the under... The right. They act doing. like they good people. But Ooh. if you follow... Their behavior right, right. for, like, for the not. last few years, it's a reason they in the position they in today. But they'll mm, never claim it. They'll no. never say I'm a raggedy bitch who fucked who I wanted to fuck, who people who no. never had good intention by me. Um, I just wanted to be with that person because had they either had time. money or they had long pretty hair. <laughs> they, these these are the bitches. They worse than the bitches in the car with the strollers because they didn't keep all their kids. They killed all their kids. Yeah. Yeah. They call it abortion, but they get, they had them yeah. kids yanked. Sucked out of the sink. <laughs> them, yeah. them bitches need to wear Yankee caps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying. And Corey Holcomb walks the races. <laughs> they won't show themselves. They're ca hi, I'm so and so. I'm dignant. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. Lousy and, and bitch. Just lousy. <laughs> lousy bitch. Lousy. Raised by lousy. I boy. know they lousy bitch. That's why I offer them money for pussy immediately. How much for your pussy? Yeah. <laughs> and most of them be like, oh. And then later on, they be like, I, okay. <laughs> That's how it go. <laughs> this is a world of wretched bitches. And I'm not even blaming them. It's, it's, it's the power structure that has built them into being and that way. In that of course, yeah. there's men who ain't shit. But trust me, these women are in control because they have the backing of the people in yeah. power. That's yeah. why you go to jail and they don't. Wow. Yeah. There is that. Hey, let me, let me. No, I'm no, not married no, no, and I, I don't I, have I, any I, children. Yeah. No, no children. <laughs> no right. children, not married. You keep any children or you don't have any children? <laughs> <laughs> it's none of your business. Damn it! 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 Damn it!
<laughs> can hey. I have the doc ask me that question, please? Excellent. No, Corey Holcomb. Yeah, yeah. So you can uh, check out my movie I'm coming out with. I put together this thing. It's called Twelve Years a Side Bitch. Uh, <laughs> story about a bitch who hung in there with a motherfucker. <laughs> they got a bitch who hung in there with a motherfucker. <laughs> got powerful scenes <laughs> when the actress like uh, you said you was gonna uh, be free. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, powerful. <laughs> <laughs> powerful, powerful movie for you side bitches out there, white. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's gonna play right after scandal. God damn! And, uh, oh shit! Everybody who know me, man, y'all know oh, I. Shit. I'm silly. I, I hate when people take me seriously. God damn! After the show is over, I hope Brandy still got love. Corey, for me. come on! Uh, you know I w I got love uh, for you. I don't. I, I said that before, and everybody yeah. attacked. On me, yeah, 12 you know. years aside, yeah, your forehead don't relax. Yeah. All right, you so know. anyway, Twitter. It does. Okay, bye. on my Twitter, all I do is say stupid shit like this. That's the Corey Holcomb on Twitter. The Corey Holcomb, T H E C O R E Y H O L C O M B. That's what I do. Yeah. All right.